Okay, this video I'm going to go over the short codes with my calendar. I'm not going to go over all the short codes, just the ones I use for this particular calendar, which would be common, common ones you use for a calendar. Short codes are found in the help section, and what they are is what tells how to display the calendar on whatever page you use it on. So you created a calendar. For example, we have, let's go look at, uh, where's it at? Manage categories. Calendars under manage categories. On this website, we have two calendars, or actually, we have three. I'm going to get rid of this one here. That was just a, for a previous video. We no longer need it. But on this particular website, we have two calendars. They have category IDs of one and four. Now, in order to get get a calendar to display on a page you want to pull the my calendar code this is the main one this particular short code here will display information from both calendars that I just showed you I'll show you like this of course on a page you get the calendar title Call this one concert. Uh, we'll call this one uh, main calendar, and we're going to put the short code right there. We'll save it as a draft. Now, its default view, when you put just my calendar, is going to be the grid view. Right there is the information from both calendars. You could tell it has both calendars by going to the bottom and it's got the category key for the area A means and the events calendar those are the two calendars we have this how do you know that these little people or the uh, area A meetings uh, icons that I'm using Let's see if we can find one for the events and you'll notice the events is actually in a different color text as well and it's got that this little square calendar looking thing for the events that's both calendars are being pulled in here and you'll notice here it also gives you the ability to switch to uh, week, day, views, list, etc, etc previous, next now you'll notice on this one it, I, uh, I didn't set the page up right because we have a sidebar here I didn't want the sidebar so we're going to go back and change this page from default to full page template no sidebar Let's save that. Let's go ahead and refresh that. And there we have the full page. Now, if I wanted to limit this to one or the other calendars, if you remember, the category numbers were one and four. One being the main, uh, the the events cal calendar, and four being the area AA meetings calendar. We just put a space and type in the word. Categories, or excuse me, category, C -A -T -E -G -O -R, category equals two quotation marks, and right in between the two of them, we're going to put in uh, category equals one. This should just pull up just the events calendar. And you'll notice just the events show up now, and you can also tell down here by the category key has just the events. Okay, let's say we wanted to change the display to a list. So we're going to say space format, format equals a couple quotation marks. In between that, we'll put list. Save that as a draft. And this should show just the events calendar, calendar in a list view. And there you have it in a list view. Now it's going to default to showing the day of the week and the rest of the weeks in the month be above and below. Now let's say we want it to display in a daily view. Format list. Uh, so to put it in a daily view, we will put time. Let's put a space there. Time equals quotation marks. And in between, we're going to put day. 
Let's save that. And preview. And it's now showing just today what's ha the the uh, it would the uh, like I have this one from a previous uh, video. We have my new event. That's the only thing displaying for the day. If someone wants to look at the month, they could click there and they click there to look at a week. It's, it's pretty much that simple. Now again, your various various things you can do are show shown here in the short code syntax. And what you're seeing is what you put before, then after these you would put equal to quotation marks and what's shown here that can actually be put in there to change the display. Time can be shown as week or day, like I just showed. Uh, you can uh, get the location, uh, restrict the location by location, uh, author, etc. But those are the ones I used on this one. The, I used the uh, list, time, format list, and uh, time day and then a category to show the specific calendars now if you want to sort another another way to do this is actually go to the page and uh, let's look at the draft that I have here and let's look back at this one here And let's just remove this all together. Now, right here on the uh, editor, you, you can click on that, and it's going to pull up a little thing. You can just pick the information you want. You want the events calendar. Uh, you want to filter. If you want to filter a location, you need to do it by region. Because remember, in a previous video, we were filtering this one by regions. And let's say District 13. You just want to see what's on District 13. And we're going to format that. Let's let's make it format in a list. And I believe we'll leave the rest as is. It's a generate short code. It will put it all in there for you. That's another way to do it. We'll save that. And we'll preview it. Now this is just going to show the meetings from District 13. And that is actually how I filtered these right here. These calendar displays right here. It was exactly that way. And it's, uh, and it's showing uh, in a list view for the month. Okay. And that's really all there is to shortcodes.